Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm with I-94 RV, and this is a 2004 Hitchhiker by New Way. So this is a 30.5 model. It's got two slides, and it's about 9,500 pounds. Uh, one of the nice things about New Way is that uh, just a really well-built fifth wheel, you know, good slide-out mechanisms, and um, they've got great insulation. You know, all the holding tanks and the plumbing system is insulated. And the folks who owned this trailer before, uh, they used it on a regular basis. It's got decent tires on it, um, but it does have a couple condition issues. So let's just go over those now. Okay, uh, I was going to show you the, um, the back wall and what's happened to it since it's had a little bit of leakage. And there is uh, some softness in the paneling starting up here. Not, nothing on the ceiling or the very top of the panel, but it just starts above the window. And there's some stains on the shade from leakage and then also the panel under the window is soft so um, I didn't really see any damage or anything on the outside and our service department since we got this RV on trade has gone around and caulked all the joints so just wanted to point that out one other leakage issue with the new way and it's up here uh, above the slide the front half of the slide has softness just at the bottom of this panel uh, one thing I noticed is when we run the slide room in and out, I didn't see any flex or anything weird. Um, so these are, all have, you know, good framing and everything, so should be fine. And I looked at the front slide. I didn't see any leakage there. Basically, I don't see any other leakage on the trailer. Um, so we'll, we'll walk around it now and go over it. But those are the two worst areas. Beyond that, the, the whole coach, uh, you know, just has some normal wear and tear. Uh, one more thing I wanted to point out is the awning that uh, we don't, I'm not, uh, it's got a big rip in it, so the fabric would need to be replaced. And also the springs are just a little weak to roll it back in. So uh, you can do a full awning replacement or, or you can just replace the fabric or you can just live with it. Um, now, uh, another thing I wanna mention is that we did go through this RV and check all the major systems. So the refrigerator, the furnace, the water heater, the air conditioner, the water system have all been checked. So the major RV components are checked and they all work good. All right, got some really big giant storage in these new ways. And this whole floor is insulated. So all the tanks and everything are insulated. So you can see just more storage in there. It's a really nice coach. I mean, it'd be like the kind of coach, you, you know, the new way would sell this so you could live in it. Uh, you got a 10 gallon electric, wa electric start water heater here. So it's a real nice setup. These tires, I think are dated 2008 or 2009, and they look like they're in good shape. Uh, they're not worn out and they don't show any dry rot. Yeah, the sidewalls look good. They look real solid. You got a nice ladder here that you can climb up on the roof. And then also, um, you know, this is the back wall where there is a little bit of leakage. And on the outside, it doesn't show any issues. It's just a, it's a rear um, cap. It's got a fiberglass cap. And like I said earlier, we did uh, reseal the roof. Okay, so this is just an access to the uh, 110 volt cord. And those are the stabilizer jacks. Okay, you can see on this side, again, it's in good shape. There's no signs of leakage or damage. Um, and it's got two big slides. And this is the other side of the storage. So this was traded in, I believe, by the original owners. And you got two big 30-pound tanks there. So you got a lot of LP storage. And then on the front, there's a big storage compartment. Okay, a couple more things. Again, this is a 2004, so this is normal, but there's a little bit of decal peeling on this coach. And let's just take a look inside. Okay, this is a really beautiful rear living room design. You got the two chairs on the back, the sofa, uh, freestanding dinette. You got a TV area, so you could also swap out this TV and put a flat screen in there and then there's storage and electronic components under there and then the refrigerator 
looks good, all nice and clean. Again, it's checked, works great. You've got an oven and a range top, and then a microwave oven. Uh, the kitchen on this coach is just huge. You know, you got all these big giant cabinetry and storage beneath, and then all these drawers. So just a lot of storage. Just double check what's in here. Yeah, just real big storage in there, so you can put pots and pans and stuff in there. And then there's a pantry here next to the refrigerator. And then if you walk all the way in, you got a real spacious bedroom and bathroom area. Uh, the queen bed here lifts up. Oh, I take it back. The slide mechanism's under there. But you still have a lot of storage. Uh, you got this whole closet area, all these drawers and counter space here. And then this is a real nice feature. So you've got a stackable washer dryer section or a closet. So there's hot and cold water in there. And then they take and put the commode off in a separate room. So it's separate from the bedroom. And then in the tub, looks good. Again, I don't see any other, other than what I pointed out, I don't see any other signs of leakage in this coach. It all looks solid. And a lot of times I'll see mold and mildew above the shower. Looks good. And uh, so I'm 5'11". I got plenty of room in here. So whoever wins this coach is going to love it.